sort of a update on what I've been doing, which really, if I'm honest, isn't much. And um, and things that have happened in my life since the last time I properly did this. So pretty much, I'm going to be talking about games for most. September. It kind of, it's all just a big blur. Um, it was my birthday in September and I had a, a nice house party where I got stupidly drunk in front of a lot of family. Uh, we had some like, we, we made like a tent thing in the garden, a gazebo, sorry, a tent thing. Um, that was cool, we put little lights in it because obviously it's going to get dark uh, as much as it seems like a cool idea, talking to people in the dark really, is not that fun so we put the lights up in there and it was really, really nice everyone was chilled out I set up a playlist of different music um, and it, yeah, it was, it was just a really nice night and then a bit cramped because there's five of us in the room and then one of uh, my other friends decided he didn't want to stay with us so he stayed in his own room which I don't blame him after uh, being s not squashed but kind of no privacy or anything sort of thing um, which I don't, I don't really mind it as such but sometimes I like a little bit of space to just chill out night um, but there was actually people in my house and they were sneezing and coughing and dancing and doing all sorts of crazy things and then to top it off uh, a train kept going past um, I'm hoping it doesn't today if it does I do apologise but yes to the games now there's seven games that month that I wasn't supposed to buy, I was going to wait till Christmas, but then I thought, you know what, 
resistance uh, wrenching on the clank I could be wrong for some reason I, I don't know, I might not be but they've got like different games under their belt oh, Spyro the Dragon they did Spyro, definitely I think <laughs> um, but basically it's it's like Crackdown um, on Adrenaline it's absolutely insane when you get into it. Like the monsters, which are called OD, um, are basically people who have drank this energy drink that's been released before it was tested and it's turning everyone into mutants. So you're this uh, cool guy who's pretty much a low life. Well, I wouldn't say low life, but he's not very well for himself, he seems like the sort of person that doesn't really care for life at the start of the game and then as you get into it, it sort of makes you really like him. It's got um, a very Deadpool feel to it, as in Marvel's Deadpool, which I love Deadpool, he's possibly one of my favourite characters. Um, sort of, it's a game that knows it's a game fun of that, which is brilliant. I think that sort of humour is fantastic. Uh, you get some crazy guns in it. The bosses are funny. They are really hilarious. Well, some of them are. Some of them are a bit more serious. Uh, so if you do have an Xbox One, I would recommend to pick that up. Because it's got and upgrades for your guns and all the crazy things like that. Now, the next game that came out was at the start of this month. Um, a pretty popular game. Pretty much a mainstream choice. Uh, Call of Duty. really bad at it, I still am quite bad at it, but because I was more of a Halo man, and when then Halo 3 came out, um, Modern Warfare was out at that time, and it was its only proper competitor, and I couldn't stand it, but over the years I've sort of respected it for what it does, and only bought it because my friends would run off and have wild times on it while I'd be left in the dust which wasn't cool so I sort of followed the crowd at first but now I buy it because I um, quite enjoy it if I'm honest this one I haven't played too much of because that many things have came after it I've just been swamped with games it's my own fault really I could not buy anymore but I'm an idiot and in the cutscenes are insanely good they're like movie quality graphics my mom thought that it was an actual movie she accused uh, Kevin Spacey of having Botox which was <laughs> quite funny to be fair I tried to explain to her mom this is, this is a game you leave Kevin Spacey alone the man is a king um, yeah it feels one more than any of the Call of Duty game to me personally uh, but it plays quite well the, the online had a few problems at the start it was kicking me out of everything which kind of sucked but um, I haven't really touched it recently because again a found one just came out so I can't really give a good verdict on Master Chief Collection, where it's got Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo 4, all under one 
risk. Um, Halo 1 is the anniversary edition so that you can flick backwards and forwards between the graphics and see how much has changed over 10 years, 12 years. And then Halo 2 is the anniversary edition but the most recent one which they've done specifically for the Xbox One again the cutscenes look absolutely insane and Halo 2 plays and feels like a modern shooter it, it ages like really well if you go back and play Halo 2 um, on the original Xbox I think you can still really enjoy that game even though it's 10 years old even with dated graphics it doesn't look that bad I haven't really got to Halo 3 or 4 yet. I am super, super excited to play Halo 3 because that was that was my game. I was I was the man. Um, so um, I am quite excited to play those. The multiplayer is a bit of a letdown because of the fact that you can't really customize your own Spartan as much as you could in the other game. Uh, I can understand why they've done that because you've got every map from every Halo and some of them are in old graphics some of them are in new so it'd be really complicated to have a next generation looking Spartan in Halo 1 graphics but still it's a bit of a disappointment however I am super 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 pumped to play old maps that I played when I was younger with all my friends especially maps that we used to edit on Forge and play Infected. There was about 16 of us uh, and it got absolutely insane. So many laughs. And I do miss those days, if I'm honest. It's all part of growing up, I guess. Um, but I, I'd recommend that to anybody who's got an Xbox One and enjoys shooters. Obviously, I know it's not everybody's uh, cup of tea. So, you know, you're entitled to your own opinion. Uh, the next game that I got was another game that I was quite looking forward to. And that was Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Uh, I'm a super big fan of the Lego games. Not so much the Harry Potter one. Because I'm not that into Harry Potter. Um, contrary to popular belief that all British people need to sort of read the Harry Potter Bible. I mean, it's an okay film, but I just I wouldn't be able to get into the game. Um, anyway, got a bit sidetracked. Lego Batman 3 is... It's not as good as number 2 in my opinion enjoyed the fact that he was in Gotham City and you could drive around or fly around and have a great time whereas this one is um, it's not as big I mean it does give you uh, five lantern planets to explore but it just doesn't have that same sort of feel to it where you know you, you have to go to different places and it's a lot of effort I mean it is a very good game number two beats it on that aspect but then in terms of characters within the game this one definitely destroys number two because there's that many people in it although there's no dark side which is a bit of a disappointment um, some of most of the people I, I don't actually know who they are I'm sort of learning about them because I'm more of a uh, Marvel fan rather than DC I do enjoy both and I think that people should accept that both co can coexist in somebody's like preferences um, but I do know a lot more about Marvel than I do DC um, hence why I enjoyed Lego Marvel Superheroes very very much on it which is quite rare for me I'm pretty lazy when it comes to 
those sort of things. Um, so yeah, that's a Lego Batman 3. If you like Lego games or Batman, you should pick it up because it's a good play, even with friends and families and all sorts of people. Okay, three games left. I can't believe I've talked about four already. And I don't know how long I've been talking. It doesn't bother me though, this is I'm enjoying this. Um so the next game um, is Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, the re-release on the next generation systems. See, I'm using big words to make me seem super smart. Um, it's basically Grand Theft Auto. I can't really say much more than that, really. Uh, it's more polished terms of textures and graphics um, and the first person mode is it's okay it's not amazing the trailer that they released for it made it seem like it was going to be some revolutionary thing and I suppose it could be if you were into that sort of thing but because I'm so used to playing in third person um, I enjoy it more in third person when you play in first person as Trevor he's got really like gammy hands and his hands are all cut up and disgusting and I don't know just call me weird I just really don't like seeing that it makes me feel quite sick uh, now I've just made it sound like I'm a huge wimp but whatever that's Grand Theft Auto if you don't know what that is well I assume everybody knows what that is because It's not worth the £40 that they're trying to charge for the next generation. They should have charged at least £30. Or even a, given a discount to people who had it on the Xbox 360. But I get that when it goes down in price just for uh, Grand Theft Auto Online. Even though everybody that plays that seems to be really savage with each other. Um, I've had my car stolen. Times it's a car that looks just like uh, Bumblebee from Transformers. The next game um, I bought pretty much last minute and before it came out, and I, I saw a screenshot of it. Um, I just thought I, I want that game now, so I ordered it, uh, and that game is. It's pretty much Far Cry 3 in a different setting, which I am totally fine with because I really enjoyed Far Cry 3. Um, I'm enjoying using the bow and arrow because I'm a huge uh, arrow fan, as in the TV series with Stephen Amell. Uh, I just recently bought a um, F cancer shirt uh, to support so not awareness but to support cancer research and it cost me I think twenty pounds. But to be honest I didn't I didn't mind playing whatever because it's going to a good cause and it made me feel really, really good. Anyway, sidetracked again. Uh Far Cry four is about you going back to Kairat, which is your native land your father was the leader of the Golden Path, I believe. Your mother did some crazy things with the buddy who was called Bacon Min. Uh, but your mother asked you to go back to Kirat to um, spread her ashes at a certain point. But then you walk into this big civil war and Bacon Min like, is a bit of an idiot to you. However, I quite like him because he reminds me of uh, Vass and the Joker from obviously Batman. He's sort of a mixture between the two, although he does have a dodgy haircut and a crazy pink suit, which is cool. And it 
This is kind of ironic that it is voiced by Troy Baker, who voiced the Joker in Arkham Origins. Uh, he did a good job, if I'm honest. Not as good as Mark Hamill, but it's very hard to try and take that mantle up after someone did it really, really well. He did a brilliant job on it. Um, yeah, Far Cry 4, the main things you need to know is Eagles suck, as do Honey Badgers. I mean, there's demon fish, tigers, crazy pigs that try and chew on you and all sorts. But the worst are, th are the falcons and the uh, honey badgers. They are just savages. So whenever you see them, just just take them out or run away from them. That's what I've tried to do because they're just they're evil, evil. Um, and the last game that came most recently is. This was developed by Bioware, who also did the Mass Effect series, which is one of my favourite games. Um, Dragon Age, I've only played number two, and I quite enjoyed it. I didn't like really enjoy it to the extent where it keeps pulling me back the way Skyrim did. slightly hard um, I keep getting absolutely battered the baddies um, are very ferocious shall we say they're very um, determined to, to kill me which is I guess <laughs> a good thing because they're doing their job um, I haven't got too far into this I'm just reading That was really, really cool. Um, I won't say anything in case anybody wants to buy it. It's pretty much in the first couple of missions. Um, but if you choose a certain thing, you don't get to do the mission. But uh, it's it was just really cool the way it played out, and I quite enjoyed that. And I was doing that at like two in the morning. Usually I'm passed out by about 10 o'clock, so you could tell it was keeping me interested. Um, I'm hoping to find some form of Mass Effect Easter egg. I know there is one somewhere, um, but I decided not to read about it because it's nicer to have it as a surprise. Of course, unless I miss it, which usually 9 times out of 10. So, yeah, that is all the things that have been keeping me busy over the past month. Um, I don't think I've completed... Oh, I completed Lego Batman, but I haven't. I've been getting all the um, side characters and doing all of that crazy stuff. Uh, but it's, it's a very good time to be a gamer, if I'm honest. All of these games are excellent. It's very rare that I'll buy seven games in a row that I actually enjoy instead of one being, uh, you know, I don't really enjoy this. So, um, yeah, that is my update video. Um, I've got 112 subscribers now, which to most people is like, oh yeah, that's a small number. No, it's like 112 people. That's like a full restaurant of people that actually want to see these videos which is it's brilliant it's absolutely brilliant um, so thank you to anybody who subscribed uh, I really do appreciate it it's the only reason why I keep coming back I will try to um, get more videos put out it's just a sit down and have a chat with a quiet surrounding but saying that um, because you know 112 when you think about it is a big number of people a 
as I said, it's like a restaurant full of people. Um, I do want to start doing more videos, even if they're just talking like this. I don't know if I will do like face videos just yet, as in you know recording my face. Um, but I will continue doing these sort of videos. see you all before Christmas. Definitely I have not. Um, I want to talk about Christmas. And if you have anything you want me to talk about, um, just let me know. Or any improvements that I can make, or anything at all, even if you just say how you, you know, you smell, I don't know, stuff like that. Lovely nice things. <laughs> but uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all soon.